Hello everyone. Welcome to system test number three. Today I have a change for the fire alarm system portion. Today we are going to be testing the front door and the window along with the fire alarm portion of the system. If you want to watch my second system test, you can go up here to the corner. There'll be a little card. Click on that and then you can go to the last video where I showcase my uh, new T-bar keypad backlight shot off there for a second as you can see I now have a tripod which is very nice because now I can record very steady content like this and then if I need to I can go into hand mode and walk around my room and stuff okay let's get started with this system test before we start this system test I actually do want to show you guys something this system actually does have a onboard dialer and I actually never took advantage of it because I never had an ATA so I actually went to Amazon and I got a phone line and a actual ATA so let me show you here's the ATA chilling over here by my computer and then I have the phone line running over here up on my wall down here and then into the panel, but you can't see it. And there's my cat. We're actually gonna see the ATA dial as well as a uh, monitor that is showing the Discord server. All right, well, let's begin the system test. Let me get you off the tripod. And then let me just put this tripod up. All right, now that we're in handheld mode, we can finally test out the system. So the first thing that we're gonna test is the away. test the front door this time so here we go disarm system now this is a system test we don't disarm here alarm front door disarm oh there's disarm. a little hint of what Ready i added it should not have flashed but it did Okay, uh, next we're going to go over to the 6150, and then we are going to run on the system and stay. Okay, well now we got to wait a little bit. Perfect. Should be in stay. Perfect. again so now we're going to actually swap to the fire alarm portion of the system we go down here in my last video i actually showcased the simplex t-bar uh i don't know the model number off the top of my head right now however the model number is in the pinned comments in the previous video so uh i don't know as i'm just going to call it simplex t-bar because it makes it easier so what did that add to the fire alarm system well i actually got a Horn strobe. Simplex horn strobe. Once again, the model number will be either both in the description and in the comment section. So let's go ahead and pull this. Now I do have to warn you that um, there is no horn. The reason is because the Vista 20P only operates at 12 volts for the siren at least. And this siren up here, or this horn strobe, runs at 24 volts for the horn and the strobe. However, since the Vista 20P doesn't actually have uh, 24 volts, it'll just do the flashes, which you saw when we trip the system and away and uh, stay. Okay, well, let's pull this pull station and let's do this. can see that there we go fire alarm go ahead and mute that and then we'll go ahead and reset our T bar there we go it's locked and we'll go ahead and technically reset the system or cancel the alarm 
Perfect. We are now going to talk about the ATA and the onboard dialing. So, pretty much, if anything goes off, like the uh, siren for police panic, maybe a fire alarm, or uh, say someone enters without having permission to enter and the alarm goes off, uh, the system will actually dial a uh, number. So I actually hooked it up with Protostar monitoring, which uh, takes the reports from the panels and embeds them into a Discord webhook. This Discord webhook is actually sent to this channel that you see now. As you can see, those are my fire alarm that I just did, which is really cool. And uh, this is not actually like moderator. If something goes off, it won't like call the police or call the fire department. It'll just pop up here. It's just for alarm enthusiasts, um, alarm enthusiasts that like to uh, mess around with alarms and fire alarms and stuff like that. And since most people don't actually have landlines, um, people are now going to use these uh, ATAs down here that use uh, VIOP, which stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. For this system, it's actually going to dial Protostar Central Station. And yes, they do have a central station. <clears throat> this ATA works in uh, the kind of normal all ATA kind of ways. So we have three lights here. We have this one, which is the power light, uh, ethernet or internet light, and then this one's the actual phone line coming into the back. Power and internet will always stay solid as long as you have, you know, power and internet. The phone line will stay on when it's um, uh, just chilling, not really doing anything. However, it knows that it's set up for a phone line, so the light is on. When the system is dialing, you'll actually see that the light for the phone will actually be blinking, which means that it is actually dialing. As you can see, I made this camera kind of in a way where you can actually see the Ethernet port in the back uh, communicating with the network <coughs> when it dials. Okay, well, let's go ahead and um, let's just do a fire alarm. Okay, here we go. So remember that phone light will be blinking whenever it's dialing, and then you'll see it pop up on here once it actually uh, successfully dialed. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Fire alarm. And there we go. So the panel is now actually dialing to the central station. So the panel is actually dialing the central station, and it is... Well, oh, there it goes. There is the fire alarm. There is the cancel. And then it should dial again for the uh, fire alarm restoral, which it seems to be doing right now. It hung up, so it has to redial again. And there it is. And then the light stopped blinking because the central station hung up. That about concludes this system test. It's pretty cool that I now have an ATA that can dial a central station just for kind of the fun. And the simplex quote unquote horn strobe is actually a nice, pretty, pretty nice addition as well. It makes it look official and stuff. If you want to see behind the scenes of this system test, um, there should be a couple links down in the description for you to go look at, or you can just go into my shorts tab on my channel and uh, view it from there. When I actually upload them. Okay, everyone. Take care.